taxpayer dollars wasted? Not on his watch. Aiden Your Side's Mark Douglas is making sure your hard-earned money isn't going down the drain because you paid for it. Well, some folks might have to raid their piggy bank if they plan to park in downtown St. Petersburg soon. They're going to need extra coins. The city is raising rates along popular Beach Drive and also extending hours there as well as along Central Avenue. Now, you paid for all this, so News Channel 8's Mark Douglas is on it tonight. To be fair, no one heads to Beach Drive without serious money in their pocket. But you're going to drop a lot more of those dollars into parking meters starting Thursday. Or tomorrow, it's going to be a dollar and a half an hour. Are you serious? Day. Yes, I am. Oh, that's terrible. The new meter rate on Beach Drive marks a 50% increase from the current dollar an hour cost. I do not like that at all. <laughs> tomorrow. I was just asking for change now. Some people might consider a 50% increase price gouging. I certainly think that it's it's not it's not gouging. But there's more. You'll have to feed those two-hour meters on Beach Drive until 10 at night instead of 8. So much for parking the night away. Arrive early and you'll have to move. Wow. Um, I will be taking Uber a lot more than I guess. <laughs> St. Pete is also extending paid parking hours on Central Avenue from 6 p.m. until 8 in the evening. And forget about free weekend parking on Central. That's history. Jeez, that's, um, that's ridiculous, I think. St. Pete currently generates about $8 million a year from parking fees that you paid for. The rate hikes will add another half a million, money the city will spend to develop even more paid parking. Yes, it's going to buy more inventory for people to choose from and spread it out. Transportation Director Evan Morey tells us meter hikes will be offset by one hour free parking in three downtown garages. It's all part of the city's $6 million master parking plan. Uh, we found that our garages are about half empty while the street is essentially full. Maybe so, Mr. Morey, but motorists still don't seem pleased with how the city plans to change that. That's awful. <laughs> I mean, that's outrageous. City leaders say the hike in parking prices is all part of a master plan, a plan that some motorists still don't quite appreciate. In St. Petersburg, I'm Mark Douglas, News Channel 8.